And thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Ashley. And I'm Jennifer Waddell. Last night, Not On Your Side aired a story about a two year old walking out of a Midtown child care center. People passing by found that toddler and called police. Police then returned the child to his the center. Well, today, another mother contacted Not On Your Side with complaints about this same center. And we wanted to know whether this place has a track record and what the state might be doing, if anything, about it. Alexis Fernandez has continuing coverage. April Epler says her two kids used to go to mini school early learning center on Limber Lost. Back in May, she decided to take them out because of a safety concern involving her three-year-old. I would never have my children go back to a school like that, ever. I didn't trust it at all. That's why I kept my kids out of that school. I never brought them back after the incident happened. and they. The state dismissed Epler's complaint because of lack of evidence, so we won't go into the accusations. Nine on your side wanted to know if the center had any safety citations. Turns out it has more than 70 since 2010. During the state's last health inspection back in May, the center was issued 24 citations. Among them, failure to ensure staff and children ratios are maintained, failure to document kids during a field trip, and failure to sign kids in and out by their parents. Colby Bauer with the state's licensing service department spoke to us by phone and explained the citations. There were 24 citations made. A lot of them were for attendance records. I mean, the fact that they got this many citations, is this a concern? What we like to focus on, of course, is health or safety. And so um, while certainly an attendance records can be a health or safety issue, sometimes it's simply a paperwork issue. Nine on your side wanted to know if the 70 citations issued in two years was unusual. We try to bring facilities um, up to speed. Now what we do if we cannot bring a facility up to speed is we do have the option of placing a facility like that. Uh, we do have the option of placing a facility on what's called a provisional license that subjects them to more inspections. We also talked to Dennis Vickers. He's with the Phoenix Children's Academy who runs the school. Um, and we took two or three days to do a full investigation, which I always do because I don't want to go on speculation. I don't want to send out things, especially when you're dealing with the employment of one person who is no longer with us, who we felt the investigation showed was uh, didn't live up to our, our standards. So 